How's it going, bros? My name's Ma- Oh, wait, no, no. Something ain't right about that. Give me a sec. Oh, got it. <laughs> no, that's not right either. Huh. Anyway. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, welcome back to Five Days of Stranger. <laughs> Um, potentially the final episode of this. I'm actually Nostalgic Dave. I'm very confused, though, for some reason. I don't even know why I'm confused. I'm just confused. Uh... Button. Door. Person. Hi. How are you? Yes, Jim? Can I ask you a favor? Sure. I still have the mask and apron and the knife from last night. Could you take them and throw them away for me? I really don't like having them around. Sure. Why? Thank you. No, thank you. Jim? Yes? What happened last night, exactly? Well, me and Miss Taylor were in the living room. Then this big man entered in a mask and tried to kill us with a big knife. We were able to get away, but we heard Mr. Hottie screaming. Miss Taylor told me to wait here. A bit later, she came back and told me it was you in the mask. I didn't really believe that. She went off to keep guard or something. Then I went into the trophy room and found this wooden doll thing on the floor. Next thing I remember, I was in the bathroom. Did I really try to kill my... kill you? No, but something did through you. I don't like this place anymore, Mr. Trilby. You and me both. How are you feeling? My head still hurts a bit, and I feel a bit woozy. Apart from that, I'm fine. Okay, bye. See you later. Okay. Uh, 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 why arrow? Why arrow? You guys couldn't see it, but the, every time I would try to hover over, like, one of the icons, my... <sighs> my clicker pointer would just come up, for some reason. Uh, that's new. Can I have that? Skizzers. Wait a minute. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing again? Uh, freaking talk to Simone. Simone? Shelly? How are you feeling? I'll feel a lot better once we get out of this madhouse. Yeah, I don't blame you. What am I supposed to be doing again? <laughs> oh, I forgot! I actually did forget. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Duh! Alright, never mind. Okay. So use the... Hmm. These are the only things the guy possessed, and if I'm supposed to find him, then... Well, he... No, this is Matthews. I'm looking for... The unnamed boy. The only thing I could think of is, like, this, maybe? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't attach it to that because it'll just get cut off. Does this work? No. Okay, fine. Fine. Try. Wait, what? How does that work? Whatever. Uh, this? No. How about this? I honestly don't know how that works, but sure. The only place he did, so this part's going to be a bit easy just because I already kind of know what to do as far as the rest of this goes, since it's only one place this guy slept. Why is it a blank canvas? Why is it a blank canvas? Whatever. On you. In 
in here and who are you? Hello you. How is you you? Use this on you. Yeah. Uh, probably. Let's go up. Dude, sorry, okay? Hey! You look great in red! No? Nothing? Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm at least gonna laugh at my own damn joke. Can I interact with the table? Just shake the table! There's nothing on or under the table. Shake it! Uh, why? I guess some. I don't even know. Uh, so is there anything else in here I can get? No, no. The white books. Any other black, ma white, black, or red magic? Wait, what? Must be something about summoning angry spirits in here. Yeah, that makes sense. What did I just get? There are a black magic. When you ain't home, when you <laughs> when you ain't home, you're money, you're money, money, you're 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 money, in a plane of fire and gas. You turn it and you go. And me and I am only magic. Oh, man, nothing. Warning. The summoning of a wag will only bring forth any unquiet spirit. Who will haunt you, those who hold their magic. Okay, um, all right then, uh, forevermore, just during the time, that'd be pretty good to know, I think so at least, me think so, ow, all right, what's in here, can I come in, is, is coming in here even necessary anymore? So, what? Nope, nope, wait. Uh, we'll just look at that, I guess. Seems to be indicating to the right. Okay. Near? If not, I'll turn around. Okay. So over here. Uh So there. Maybe I want you yet for my longer. Alright, how about over here? Alright, fine. Like, here. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, okay. Uh. Pull him up. Alright, well, can't use a toothpick. Yeah, you know what? Pick your teeth, bruh! Pick your teeth with it. It won't hurt. I, I, I promise. Whoa, these bones are pretty oddly shaped. I think this kid must have been born deformed. Alright, fine. If you're not going to do it with that, uh... Do it with this! Pick your teeth, Trilly. Pick your teeth! Fine. Take the body, at least. You're coming with me. How about this? Pick your teeth with this. Don't do this at home, by the way. All right. <sighs> Trilby, you born me. Hiya. You go that way. No. No. Go that way. Well, let's watch some TV. For the last time. We can go now to Peter Daltry, reporting from the gates of Defoe Manor. Over the last couple of hours, a large number of police cars have gathered around the mansion grounds. I'm not exactly sure what the official position is. I've heard reference to a hiker hearing suspicious noises coming from the mansion over the last couple of days. What's happening there right now? Well, since I arrived here, there have been three attempts to break down the front doors, all unsuccessful. I understand the authorities are still waiting to hear word from Michael Chessman's office about getting hold of the key. Defoe Manor is, of course, reported to be the last known location of missing news reader Simone Taylor. Afraid... <laughs> Work, damn it! Fine. Hello. Can I take that now? This is the only room I haven't been in yet. Whoa, this thing looks heavier than. Alright, let's put it back for now. Hold on. It did. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Guess this would come for us. Yeah. For like the umpteen billionth time, somebody's driving by with freaking. <sighs> like the final music. Kind of makes me think of Earthbound, actually. <laughs> or not Earthbound. Final Fantasy something. I played a lot of Final Fantasy. I think it's Final Fantasy 9. Maybe. Alright, could you meet me in the trophy room? Do you have a plan? Yes, I've got a plan. Okay, then. And just in case I foop up, I am going to save directly beforehand. But I am going to have Jim go in the room too. I don't know if he's any worth anything. Only literally, all I gotta do is summon him and shoot him, right? That's it. That's all I gotta do: summon him, shoot him. That's it. Hey, Jim. 
Let's, uh... Jim? Could you meet me in the trophy room? Why? I have a plan. Well, okay. I'm cooler than the kids make me look, you know. Alright, let's go down. And in here. Well, that's too high. I'm sorry, I'm confused on notes right now. Alright, guys. So, uh... The rifle... It's either way around... I, I know, I know, I know. Give it to Simone. Could you hold this for me, Simone? Please, Simone. Oh, Alright. Uh, that's it, right? Just summon the guy and kill him? Nah, yeah. Just use the book. No? <laughs> Alright, maybe if we make him look like the guy. <laughs> Somehow I don't think I've improved his look. Alright, well just in case I fuck up. Uh... Save... I'm so creative with my save points, ain't I? Uh, just in case. There you go. All right. Uh, freaking heck. Now let's do it. Here goes nothing. Miss Hall of Death, and by the light of Prometheus's gift, I call thee. I bring thee gifts that may tempt thee back. I bring thee thy helm that thy would be masked. I bring thee thy armor that thy would be clothed. I bring thee thy sword that thy would be armed. Come. 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 This is a good idea. Hi. Jesus Christ. What now? Trilby, what now? Uh, maybe I could have planned this better. What are you doing? No, no, ah, oh. Oh. Oh, okay. What? All right, that one, net. Um. Maybe if I have Jim do something, I guess. Oh, I bring him in here if he's not gonna do anything. Uh, here. Here, Jim. That don't work. Okay. Is Jim supposed to do it then? That don't work. Well, I'm not gonna... Maybe you can attack him with a pair of scissors. Here, pick your teeth with the scissors, Jim. No? Alright. Here's a toothpick. No? Well, I can't have you use the blade. Fine, take the bear then. Could you hold on to this for me, Jim? Whatever you say. I'm just gonna walk over the body. No harm done, right? God damn it. Alright, anyway. Now are we good to read it? He goes nothing. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Summoning words of hell. Hi. Don't kill me. What now? Truly, what? Uh. Y you. You! I knew you were evil from the moment you came into this world, demon child. Wait, what? May God forgive me for having a part in your creation. Oh! You're. I helped you when you were injured. I bandaged you when our father made his mistake. No mistake, young one. Now, do you see why I tried to keep you away from this creature? It has no understanding of human ways. That's your own damn fault. 
If you would only give him a chance to be normal. Cease your prattling, Matthew. It's time to put an end to the horror I unleashed. What are you doing, father? Father, no! Father! Father! Oh. Well. I think now would be a good time to take a leave. Yeah, probably. Miss Taylor, over here. What the hell's been going on in there? We've been trying to get in there for hours, then suddenly the place catches fire, the doors burst open, and you two... Us two? Where's Charlie? I thought he was right behind us. You're saying there's someone else in there? Truby! Truby! Wait a second. Truby the cat burglar? Yes. Get someone in there. You could be in trouble. <laughs> Maybe the ghost got him. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ghost? <sighs> I think we'd better get you two down to the station. But Truby! The fire brigade will find him if he's in there. In the meantime, if you'd like to step this way. Okay. Death, of course, comes to us all. It came to Sir Roderick Defoe and his youngest son in the shape of each other. Was destroying the ghost the, re the right thing to do? It was acting like any other dumb animal. Oh well. I guess he and his family will have plenty of time to discuss it, wherever they are. As for me, well, I have no complaints. I've lived a life many would consider out of the ordinary, and I have only one regret. Leaving Simone and Jim to explain it all to the police. That was hardly gentlemanly conduct for the gentleman thief. But I'm sure they'd understand that rushing out into a field full of police officers wouldn't have been a good idea. It's going to be a long walk home. And I have some important matters to attend to. I have to track down my fence, for one thing. I have to punch him very hard in the face. Yes! Alright, well that was five days of Stranger. <sighs> Quite the ride. It's definitely a blast from the past. Music taken from RPG Maker 2000. Well, I mean, if you buy it, you're allowed to use it, so I mean... It does make me wonder, though, why... All this stuff was always, like... Why they didn't allow payment. I'd be willing to pay for something like that. That was really well done. Took a few edits, but I mean, literally every game does. So for something like that, it's crap to not try. Is it an interview? What's the interview? Hello! Welcome back to the Simone Taylor interview. My next guest is amateur game designer Yahtzee, who is joining me here in the Defoe Manor lounge to talk about Five Days of Stranger. Unfortunately, Yahtzee couldn't be with us in person tonight, but we have been able to channel his spirit through- Okay. Yahtzee, welcome. Nice to be here. So, Five Days of Stranger. Winner of five AGS awards. Good job. You deserve it. Where did it all begin? Well, Simone, the idea first came to me while playing a hentai game called Nocturnal Illusion. I found myself... Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Hentai game? Uh, yes. As in, Japanese cartoon porn? That's weird. Look, we can't control either. Fair enough. Fair enough! <laughs> it's just a concept of the isolation. Exactly how closely did you intend to follow your, your source material? You're we planning some kind of gang base? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. You know what, actually... I'm just gonna let it skim through the whole thing. Whoa! Dogs! Alright, well, we'll... I'll re... Now you guys know the interview exists. That was interesting. 
Anyway, I'll probably, like, skim through any kind of interviews that might be put up, like, what inspired this kind of stuff. Stuff like that. I don't know. Um, but I am going to be playing Seven Days of Skeptic pretty soon. Not directly after this, but pretty soon. Um, but in the meantime, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode in this series. If you got any ideas for me for anything else, uh, pixelated horror or just point and click horror, anything like that, just let me know in the comments below. I've got a couple ideas myself, but don't know really what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, if you like the video, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!